Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. I am Sarah, if it is your first time here, and today I am doing a video I've wanted to do for over a year now. It is doing a full face of makeup with an advent calendar. Now, I thought this would be a really good idea, not just to have fun opening up a calendar, which let's be real, that's a lot of fun. I also really wanted to have something to look back on and make this a tradition and start doing it yearly to see how my makeup skills have progressed. To be honest, I think this year, 2019, they've gotten a little worse than they were previous years. For this year, I decided to use the Ulta 12 Days of Beauty. I haven't used any of Ulta's products in quite a long time, so fingers crossed that they're good and that I can make it look okay. All right, I got the film off, which took quite a bit of time, if I do say so, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to open this pretty quickly so we can get through to the fun part, putting everything on. So starting off with number one, a jello eyeshadow and it is in a silvery color. Number two, it is a liquid highlighter. That looks really cute and small. Number three is an eyeshadow primer. That's nice. Number four, a chubby lip crown and it is a plum color. Number five, it is an eyeliner that is in pencil form. Number six. Ooh, okay. This is a tinted lip oil. Number seven. Ooh, that's pretty. A metallic cream eyeshadow. Number eight. Velvet matte lip color. It looks like a pretty color though, but it looked like it separated kind of in the bottle. Number nine. It is, okay, a shiny sheer lip gloss. That's pretty. Number 10 is a matte bronzer. That looks like a decent color too. Number 11. Oh my gosh, this is a cream eyeshadow. And it looks like it's a, I don't even know, because it doesn't look maroon, but it doesn't look like a berry color. And last but not least is number 12. And this is a blush duo. It has a matte color and a shimmery, glittery color. All right, so I have opened everything up. It's all laid out right in front of me. And let's go ahead and zoom you in to get started. I'm gonna start off first with the tinted lip oil. The cross eyed looking at that. Doesn't smell like much. It feels more like a lip gloss, to be honest. <laughs> now I'm gonna try the eyeshadow primer. Kind of hard to screw this up. Not a lot of product in this container. <laughs> Look at how flat that is now. That is very misleading. <laughs> Okay, so it definitely is not easy to blend. It feels tacky, so fingers crossed it holds eyeshadow in place for a while, but it's definitely not easy to blend in at all. Before I get to applying eyeshadow, I wanted to go ahead and do some quick swatches for y'all. So the formulas that they gave were a jelly eyeshadow in a silver color, a metallic cream eyeshadow, and this was more of a champagne pink color. And then the last one they gave was a chrome eyeshadow in a burgundy chrome looking color. Because I'm a boring person and like to go natural with my makeup, I'm going to start off with applying some of the matte bronzer in the crease of my eye lid. So I'm definitely loving the bronzer. It has a nice color payoff, I think, but that eye primer, it looks so bad. It looks patchy. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it does not look right. Now I'm gonna go in with the metallic cream eyeshadow and put that on my lid. color but I also feel like it's getting all over the place is that normal and it's kind of it's kind of tacky now that it's drying I feel you can see the crease 
it's creasing and holding the crease a lot more. I go like, push up my eye, my eyelid. It's thick. Can you see that? It's thick. I'm going to try and help it from sticking and add some more bronzer in the crease. I don't know if this is right, but hopefully it helps. That definitely does not look right, but it's not sticking anymore, so that's good. I think I'm just gonna leave the eyes the way they are. I don't know what to do, but I don't wanna do anything else to completely ruin it, so let's just move on. I think what I'm gonna do next is actually bronze my face. Not go how I wanted it to go. Oh well. I feel like that's gonna be the theme of this video. My eyelids are still sticking. Is this normal? <laughs> I still definitely like the bronzer. I don't know if it's a good color for me, but it definitely did something to my face. Warmed it up, that's what I was looking for. It definitely did warm my face up quite a bit. I'm gonna try the really cute baby looking highlighter. looks, I don't know. I was gonna say pretty, but now it's looking kind of chunky. This stuff is definitely a lot chunkier glitter-wise than I wanted, and it's definitely not easy to blend. So the blushes they gave in this box were these two blushes. I'm going to show you a quick swatches right now so you can see them. The sparkly one is extremely pigmented, so I think that this look has already gone pretty downhill. So I'm thinking, let's just go ahead and use that. No. Okay, I'm not sure if it's clinging to the highlight and that's why it's kind of driving me crazy. I'm looking so. That one was a fail. I'm gonna try the matte one now and see how blendable that one is. I look like a clown. <laughs> All right, I tried to blend it out as best as I could. It's just gonna be the way it is. I look very embarrassed or like I'm doing something embarrassing, which I kind of am, so it's okay. It kind of fits the theme. I forgot to use the eyeliner pencil, so let's go ahead and try that, and hopefully it goes better than the blush. I know you're not supposed to pull your eye, but let's be real. I don't know how else it's, ooh, it's nice and creamy. I'm gonna try and smudge it. Oh, right in the eye. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop with the eyeliner before I hurt myself any further than I already have with eye poking. But it was really creamy. Now we're on the lips. My lips look pretty good right now with the oil on them. They don't feel tacky anymore. They look moisturized. So I'm going to go in first and try the Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick and see how this goes. I'm not sure how I did. It feels okay. It looks okay. It feels, feels very thin. Been about 30 seconds and it's starting to get very tacky. Before it didn't really feel like there was much on my lips, but now it definitely does. Now I'm gonna try this shiny lip gloss and see how much different that is. It's very shiny. Not that tacky. I think I should have left the matte one on and just put this in the middle of it. That probably would have been a cute look. Overall, I'm not disappointed in these. I definitely want to try them out some more and play with them. All right, so the last thing that they have in their box is the chubby lip crayon in this really dark plum color. Okay, so it is officially on. I'm not in love with it. It's honestly kind of hard to work with. I didn't do a great job at applying it because it, it gets dull really quickly and then it's kind of hard to work with, you know? So I'm gonna try and put in the lip oil to see if that helps a little bit. It definitely looks a lot better, in my opinion, when you put the oil on top, but I still probably won't use it again. <laughs> And it really doesn't last long either. It's already coming off. Mm, not a fan. All right, that is the end of today's video. I cannot say it went well. Hopefully it was entertaining for you on your end. I will show a quick close-up right here of the finished makeup look. 
I definitely do not think this is a good representation of how my makeup skills are. I think I could have done better if given different products. Hopefully you did find this entertaining. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more holiday themed videos coming your way. I've got a lot of fun ideas. Thanks again for watching and I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.